Hello, I'm Daphne Good, and we're at the Crofton Sea Walk. Thanks for joining us. You're watching Go Island, Cowichan Valley. On today's show, Sean Leslie brings us an update on the BC Legislature. Congratulations to the Cowichan Valley All-Stars. And a Dragon's Den success story highlights a Cowichan Valley business. All that and more on Go Island, Cowichan Valley. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Congratulations to the Cowichan Valley All-Stars Junior Team for placing third in the recent Pacific All-Stars cheer event held in Abbotsford. The girls performed a series of stunts, jumps and tumbling moves to come out with a successful finish for their first time competition. Cheerleading combines elements of dance, gymnastics, stunting and performance. The goal of the Cowichan Valley All-Stars is to improve the health and fitness for children of all abilities and to help kids learn skills while having fun as a team. The Cowichan Valley All-Stars is starting its third season this year. So I'm here with Regan and Laurel who are the captains of the Cowichan Valley All-Stars. Well, you're just amazing. It's wonderful watching it. It must have been exciting to place. Yeah, it was quite exciting. I bet. And how many other teams were there, do you know? Uh, five. Was it was it fun watching them? Do you get motivated by watching others? Very much. It's, yeah. <laughs> so what do you think gave you the edge, girls? And why did you place third? Uh, maybe because, like, our sharpness. I don't really don't know because <laughs> I didn't really get to see the score sheets. <laughs> what do you think, Laura? Um, well, I think we got third because um, our team, we've been working really hard and been trying our best. Let's talk about how you were chosen captain and why. Uh, well, I sort of have a lot of spirit and I'm really enthusiastic. Yeah. Because, like, it's sort of my personality to be like that. It kind of shows. <laughs> Good for you. What about you, Laura? Well, when I first joined, I really liked being the leader and liked counting off and really liked um, being in front. And so, when a captain, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's kind of like show business. You're all dressed up. You you have lots of cool makeup. You have these really nice costumes. Is that part of it for you? You like to be out there and performing? Very. I love like all the sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> and like. Whenever I'm at school and we have to do like stuff with sparkles, I always like d like drown it with sparkles. <laughs> but also very athletic, right? What motivated you? Why did you know you wanted to do it? Well, I was kind of just I, don't know, I was really flexible, and then um, at school I would just like tumble and I show all my friends, and then my mom found out cheerleading, so she joined me in, and I'm having fun. <coughs> All right, girls. Head coach Rhonda Dale provides a caring and supportive environment while instructing the young cheerleaders. Many of the girls have a gymnastics background, giving them a good head start in terms of flexibility and discipline. You're watching them at a recent warm-up and practice at Alexander Elementary School in Duncan. You notice the relentless counting. With all the girls, it is ever present as they count together throughout their practices. Timing and precision are all important in cheerleading. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. It's so hard to smile when you jump in. Let's pretend you have springs in your feet today. I'm going to do it one more time. And see so you've got lifting with your shoulders, keeping yourself as tall and high as you can. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, 
The senior girls of the Cowichan Valley All-Stars are regularly practicing each week. And for some of them, this is supported by their love of gymnastics. We'll be back a little later in the program to show you the winning routine from the College of Valley All-Stars Junior Group. I'm with Holly Ellison, who is with the senior group of the College of Valley All-Stars. And Holly, why do you like cheerleading? I like it because we get to tumble, which is what I love to do. And it's just really fun combining all the elements together in a routine. How long have you been cheerleading? This is my third year. Fun. Okay, now can you describe what cheerleading really is? Is it comprised of a, a number of different elements? We do a two and a half minute routine with jumps, tumbling, and stunts. Perfect. So let's turn around and have a look at the girls and I'll get you to, to tell us a little about what they're doing. So right now they're in torch and she's pulling a scorp, scale, and arabesque. That looks like it takes a lot of patience and good balance. Yes, it takes a lot of time to practice everything that we do. And that was a leapfrog into an extension. Wow. With a quarter cradle basket. And I can see the strength it takes. Yes. Ooh. Yes, we train five hours a week. That's quite a bit of training. Do you hope to be a cheerleader for a major football team one day? Um, <laughs> I prefer just competing with it. I don't think I'd be able to just cheer on the sidelines after doing this. <laughs> Next on the program, recently featured on Dragon's Den, Suchetta Singh visits a successful business in the Cowichan Valley. For the Cowichan Valley All-Stars, assuming a performance role comes with glitter makeup and costumes. Putting on the uniform, changes how they perform. It's amazing. <laughs> we put them in the practice gear and we get, you know, as soon as they get the uniform on, big smiles usually. And, yeah. and they like to feel like they look good. Oh, yeah. And looking good is um, important to them. And some of those kids, it's the first time they got to wear like glitter makeup. <laughs> the junior girls competed in the 11 and under division in level one beginners at the recent competition held in Abbotsford. They were competing against numerous teams from the Lower Mainland, Vancouver, Kamloops and Kelowna. The Cowichan Valley All-Stars were the only team from Vancouver Island participating in the competition. Here is their winning routine.
uh, gymnastics and cheerleading gives to girls. Uh, I can see the strength and the balance just right off the top. What else? Um, I think it gives them a lot of confidence in themselves and as their bodies, as they get to know their own bodies, it really transfers to other sports as well. I find a lot of my, my gymnasts or my cheerleaders, they do well in a multitude of sports because they have a lot of body awareness. And, and obviously health, good health. Yes, we need good health, <laughs> definitely. I've been coaching competitive gymnastics um, for about 11 years with a local club here. Um, and then a few years ago, I decided to leave that. It was too many hours for me. But a couple of my teenage girls who were 17 or so, they said they couldn't, they didn't feel like they could work with another coach. They've been working with me for so long. But they didn't want to leave gymnastics. And they said to me, you've always said our gymnastics could translate to cheerleading at university. And they said, so why don't we do that? So I went and looked into it. I went for some training in Vancouver at um, one of the big clubs over there and got my certification and we started a club with just those kids to start with. Um, I had a team of 11, which quickly grew to a team of 22 that year. That's awesome. That's so great. some of these girls could be, could be actually cheerleading at various sports games? Um, yeah, I have um, one right now. She got accepted onto the top team at SFU. And so she's been cheering there as her second year. It takes a lot of hard work. It's not an hour a week that you can train and do this. You have to have a lot of hours put into it. And what do you hope for the future? Continuing to put the girls through their paces and into competition? Yeah, I'd actually like to even see smaller girls start. Get the little ones out and get them um, learning about their own little bodies. And, and uh, I like watching them grow and progress over the years. Since you've been coaching for such a long time, Rhonda, is, is, is there a certain age that you think is perfect when, when children should begin gymnastics? Um, for gymnastics, I always find even the preschool gymnastics is good. Um, teaching a child how to fall, very important. <laughs> and gymnastics is perfect for that. So I think it's, time, it, it's a good time to start as soon as they're able to walk and move around. The Cowichan Valley All-Stars are comprised of two groups, a youth group for girls ages 7 to 11 and a senior group for boys and girls ages 11 to 18. The next competition that the Cowichan Valley All-Stars will attend is Marty Party this March in Richmond. A highlight of the season will be their final competition of the season, the Sea to Sky International Competition in Vancouver in April. This summer, you can see the girls in the Duncan Days Parade. The Vesuvius Crofton Ferry is moving in behind us and we're gonna take a bit of a brief break. But it's back to work for a lot of BC MLAs as there is work on the table. Our Sean Leslie will go behind the scenes at the BC Legislature. That's coming up after the break. Thanks a lot for that report, Sean. We look forward to a lot more of your reports coming up this season. Next, go for gold, and we're going to shine a light on an area where Canadians usually do very well in the Olympics, figure skating. Thanks a lot for being with us on Go Island, Cowage and Valley. I hope you have time to spend a few peaceful moments down here at the Crofton Seawalk. It's lovely at this time of year. There's lots of evergreen and arbutus, plenty of birds to enjoy as well. And the mill is employing a lot of people in this area once again. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.